are you today? All right, it's Thursday. Welcome, 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 welcome to my channel. I haven't done one of these in a little bit, so welcome, I've been doing a lot of lives. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Patricia Evans. I'm considered the belly dancing minister, and uh, you'll know that if you look at all my videos. I have four videos a week, and so today is the one on hair. What I do is I unlock a woman's joy from her beautiful hair to her beauty from the inside out. And we keep Jesus at the center of all that we do. So if that's something that you're interested in being a part of, then welcome to my channel. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving working with my lovelies is what we are calling ourselves. And if you want to be one of my lovelies, I just would look so forward to having you. So anyway, so today what I want to talk to you about is a mini challenge that I want to do for the next, for October, November, and December. Um, I got the idea to do it because one of our uh, lovelies, she just had an episode where her name Valerie, hi Valerie, where she had a haircut, trying to just treat herself to a nice haircut, and the hairstylist cut her hair about two to three inches, she said. So last week when I was on, she shared that, and I was just appalled. And at the time, I was talking about how I went two weeks I don't know if I'm going on three weeks. No, I actually washed my hair yesterday. So two weeks, two and a half weeks of putting my hair away and I ended up not having a wash day. I have been busy with a project that I'm really excited to talk to you about. And at the end of the video, I will definitely tell you some details about it, okay? But I've been so busy that I wanted to put my hair away. And in putting my hair away, I ended up doing a protective style. I actually just put like a like one of my pieces, I put it on here and it looked similar to mine, but my curls are tighter. So I wanted to make it very similar. You guys know how I am with that. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But I wanted to talk to you about this semi challenge. It's something that I'm not gonna head because I'm busy with an important project, but I definitely want to check in and see how you're doing. And I want to give you a place where if you want to share your email uh, with an in, through an email, how you're doing before and after, any questions, any advice or anything, we could definitely talk to each other through email. <clears throat> and you know I have a few Facebook pages, so we can definitely connect there too. So we can talk there. Um, Joy Seekers by Patrice D. Evans is on Facebook where we would talk a lot. And um, hopefully I get to get there and, and talk to you about some things as often as I can. But if you haven't seen me in a little bit, it's because I've just been putting my head in this project that I'm going to talk to you about. So in an effort to support our lovely Valerie, maybe together we can help her grow some of the inches back. In the next few three months, it would be great for all of us if we can kind of do something to help us all grow some inches. You know how we are with our inches, right? Well, I'm in this mode where when your hair starts to get a little bit longer, then you actually need to put it away more because it's a lot to deal with depending on what your hair is like. If it's fuller, if it's, um, you know, uh, the texture, if the texture is just not simple. You know what I mean? It takes work to take care of. The longer it gets, the more work, right? The more water, the more everything that you need. So putting it away sometimes helps. So as much as I'm not a huge protective style uh, person because I thought my hair would dry out, I do believe in putting my hair away sometimes. So let's just say that that is my form of protective styling. What I did learn the last few weeks that I did it is that my hair stayed moist. I don't know if it was because I'm in the South and it's moist outside, but when I put it away and I put it in some bands up here and I wrapped it up with some face, fake, fake hair, I took it out and it was very moist. And if you look at my video from last week, you'll see that. So I'm starting to believe, believe in protective styling a little bit. So that might be my little segue into believing that I can protective style my hair. So I'm going to start off with calling it putting my hair away. And as I see that I can do it and I figured out how my hair could be in a protective style, I'll do that, but what I'm gonna be doing in terms of putting it away is that I'm gonna put it in a style where it's not all put away, but it's the ends are put away for the most part. So like putting it up like this is for me is put away. And I do this when I'm doing a pre-poo or if I'm doing a deep conditioning. So right now I stopped my wash day. I did the wash and I did the Russell Clay, which is an important point, uh, uh, part of my wash day, which I hope that you guys are, incorpor are incorporating into your wash days. And then after I do that, my hair is really clean and it's moisturized from the Russell Clay. So the Russell Clay does both for me. It replenishes and cleans at the same time. Great step. Then I put in my leave-in conditioner and I put in uh, my, my Ayurveda Curls Deep Conditioning Honey Mask. 
I put in my additional leave-in conditioner from Giovanni. And now I, because I made that mistake and I bought that mask from um, Shea Moisture, I actually put some of that in there too. I just leave it in there and then I seal it with my growth oil right here. So what I decided was I'm just going to stop there and just keep it up. And I just kept it there and I put a plastic bag and I just kind of did it all night. Still have it in there. Probably going to go under the steamer and then finish it maybe tonight. But it's going into two days because I'm not going anywhere. So I just figured, let me keep it in this moisturized state. Sometimes what I can do is I'll reactivate the moisture by going back in the shower, letting it get wet again, and then keep it going for another day or so since we're home. So those are some options. And I'll tell you more about it. Comment below if you want me to show you how I do that, how I stretch my wash day out. In a sense, I stop at the either the deep conditioning or the pre-poo. Those are areas where you can keep that in for days, you know what I mean, if you don't have time to do your wash day. So I either will do a pre-poo, keep it like this, or I'll stop at the deep conditioning and keep it like this. And then I'll move on with the rest of the steps. So sometimes I do that, and that's where I'm at now. And this is my putting my hair away, well, at least putting it up. So I'll be doing things like this and other things. So this is what I want to have in the challenge. Um, and I want you to start using a few things. So I'm going to talk about some things. Definitely take advantage of my Ayurveda Curls products. Yes, I'm still going strong with them. I still sell them. And uh, it's something that I use all the time. And we're learning a lot about the Ayurveda Curls, by the way. So we'll be doing some more videos explaining that men are using them. People are using them for psoriasis. They're using it for dandruff and issues with the scalp and men and beards and stuff. So I didn't realize how much my growth oil was a blessing to so many people. It has so many medicinal purposes and things that heal the scalp. It even healed mine. If you remember, if you're an OG and you remember when I had tenderness back here. After using it for a while, it healed my scalp. So this is some great stuff. I don't talk about enough, the growth oil. But the growth oil is going to be a really important part of doing this. This is what I want to do. I want to take October, November, December. You can end... In December and in January, we could come together and see how where we ended up. We'll see where we are January. And that's where I usually update my wash day routine and let you know where I'm at with my wash day routine. So every January, I try to do that. So that's a good time to see what we, how much hair we grew and everything. So this gives me a lot of time to this time measure my hair in October. You can measure your hair in October. All right, we have a little bit of time to get started. So we'll start October 1st. We'll measure our hair, write it down this time. And then keep up with it and make sure you're getting your trims and all that stuff. Okay, so first thing we're going to we're gonna talk about three things. First thing is going to be your regimen. Make sure you have a good regimen down. Now, usually I wash my hair every week. I condition it and I deep condition it every week. I want to keep that going. But if I'm going to do one of those two-week things, I may co-wash in between. So I may change my regimen a little bit based on this whole thing. Because if it's up and I'm keeping it in for two weeks, I may not be able to wash it. But I will rinse it. I'll do something to it to moisturize it for two weeks. Okay, so I want you to have something down where you're keeping a moist, you're, you're taking care of your hair. And you, I'll tell you what the most, what most important thing you have to have with your regimen in number two. But number one is you want to be able to put that moisture in and you want to be able to seal it. And you want to be able to do it for at least one to two weeks every month. So every month, within that month, give yourself a week to two weeks minimum of putting your hair away or protective styling. That's what this challenge is. That means you're not keeping it protective style for three weeks, three months straight. You're doing at least one to two weeks. You're picking some time during the month that you're going to put it away during the month, okay? So pick the time of the month that you feel like you're the most busy. Maybe it's the time of the month where it's the time of the month and you don't feel like dealing with your hair because of hormones. Whatever the case is, pick that time of the month to do a full week or two weeks that you've done for three weeks consecutive months. If you want to go further and you think you can put your hair in something for the entire month, take it out, entire month, take it out, great. That's wonderful. Go at the level where your hair can work. The goal here is to make sure that you've in sealed in moisture that can last as long as you're going with this, okay? And that you're not let making your scalp itch. Scalps should never itch. Okay, they just shouldn't be itching. If you ever see me messing with my hair, it's because I've had fruit flies this summer, okay? And I can feel fruit flies. That's the only reason why you'll see me ever touching my hair. In fact, last week I hit the thing and it hit the thing. So I've, I've, we've figured out what's going on with that. I could do a whole video on it if you need some help with that. Comment below if you want me to do a whole video on why people could have those for the summer. But it seems like a big thing this summer. So anyway, my hair never itches. If your hair is itching, there's something wrong. Definitely get yourself 
the Ayurvedic Curls Growth Oil if that is an issue for you, okay? Because this is really healing the scalp. It's great. And if you go on the website, you'll see all of the ingredients that are in here, over 23 ingredients, including black seed oil, very healing, rosemary, um, lavender, peppermint, all these wonderful oils that are great. And it's infused with henna, okay? Now, I've gotten some emails asking me to do other types of oils. I haven't had the time to do it. If you're here and you're one of the people, I didn't forget about you. And I'm really interested in having some alternative oils that are just for one purpose. So I might look into it. It's just that because I do, as you know, do so many other things, I didn't want to add more to my plate. And I want to pray about everything and make sure God's in line with me doing more. Because he already told me these four and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do more. So I'll be praying about that, okay? So let me know if you're interested in other types of growth oils that are specific for certain treatments and stuff, okay? But this is all encompassing. You can. This is enough. You don't need anything else with, when you have this. Anyway, what I plan on doing is sealing in my moisture with my growth oil, okay? So I'm going to get that moisture in, and then I'm going to really seal it in. Then I'm going to either band it or I'll put away, but when I do my protective style, I'm gonna band it really well moisturized and sealed in that. I won't be doing my gel when I do it because I don't think it's necessary. So if I do do my gel, it will, if I have my hair up like this, I'll have it on the outside like this. The gel will be the extra protection for the back of my hair and everything else. Make sure you're using your, you're, you're protecting your hair when it gets cooler with your satin bonnets and all that and your pillows when you go to bed, okay? So make sure you've gotten that part. Number one, seal in your moisture properly when you're starting the one to two weeks and if you do a month. Make sure your hair stays moist. My secret is the second week for my hair especially, I go in the shower with my hair, no cap, and let that moisture in, in the water just, I'm not putting my hair in the water necessarily, but I'm letting the spricks of the water just moisten my hair. So if I feel dry in my hair, I will let the water completely run through my banded hair and in my hair, okay, just to put the water in there. But my biggest issue is that I haven't done protective styling because my hair dries out quickly at being low porosity, severely low porosity. So do what you need to do to make sure that moisture is in. It's very important. Check your moisture level while you're doing your protective style, okay? That's number one. Okay, and seal it in. Number two. I need you to have a regimen that also makes sure during these three months that you have um, two really big things going on in that regimen. You've got to make sure your moisture protein balance is there. I haven't done a protein treatment in a while because Shea Moisture has a little bit of protein. There's a little bit in everything. I have you know, my natural one in here when I put the oils. So I don't worry about protein much. So it's been a little while. But I do it to dye my, my grays or to just... It's usually for dye for me more than anything. But because I'm doing it, it's strengthening my hair and it makes it feel a little more straw-like for a day or two. But once in a while, I need to do it. So just make sure you know when it's time because we're doing all this moisture that you are also getting your protein in there. And make sure you're getting your trims in or your dusting in, okay? Between these three months. Make sure you're doing that in that time because if you really want to grow your hair, you don't want to just put it away and let it dry out and you're not doing all these things that you're supposed to be doing in your hair. These things are still very important even though you're putting your hair away or protecting it, right? So that's number two. Number three, big. You need to make sure that intake, that you have that intake going on. I've been very busy with a huge project that I'm about to tell you about. I tried to give you a hint on when I'm going to tell you about. But I've got to make sure that I don't get so stressed out that I'm just eating these chips and everything. I just said to myself, let me just make sure I'm getting hydrated. So I'm just like going to re dedicate myself to making sure I'm hydrating. So you want to make sure you're getting your greens, live greens, okay, is what you really need. But if you have to get the dried greens, good, get that, but just make sure you get a cup of it every day. So you need greens. Spinach is huge, okay, pinaca, spinach. And in Spanish, it's, it's pinaca. Um, and kale, those are two big ones. I want you to get those two especially. You can get a lot of spinach, and if you cook it, it'll shrink. You can put it in a juicer and everything else. And I'll tell you some things I'm starting to add to my healthy intake. So you want your water, your veggies, and your vitamins and minerals and oils. You will need to take flaxseed oil. You need to be eating these things, taking your multivitamins, all those things, and definitely take your hair vitamins, whatever that is your bio, uh, biotin, okay? So those are the three things I want you to take, make sure you're doing during this challenge, okay? So that's it. Now, I just wanna end it with this. I want you guys to come on because I'm gonna make a huge announcement tomorrow and you've got to come on and see it. Look for my post tomorrow, all right? Because I've been working on something and it's huge and, and, and I, I just really would love for you to support and to be a part of what I'm doing. And so please tune in to tomorrow when I post. I'm gonna to be posting sometime 
around 7, okay? So please show up and join me as I post this and I share this with you guys, okay? All right, so um, it's really, really exciting. And a little hint, it's kind of a way to celebrate my birthday and the fact that I, God willing, am turning 50 in October. And so it's a big deal for me. And in turning that, I want to do something big and I want you to be a part of it. So please join me tomorrow when I announce what it is. Okay. So I love you so much. Thank you for staying with me this long and stay tuned for all of my videos a week. Thank you for all your lovely comments and for loving me and supporting me. And God bless you. I love you so very much. And God willing, I'll see you tomorrow with the announcements and in our weekly videos. Bye.